Ladies and gentlemen, we ask that at this time you please rise. And we would like to take a moment to say our thoughts and prayers are with the students, teachers, and the victims that were involved in the school shooting in Florida earlier today. Please join us in a moment of silence. And now we ask that you remain standing for tonight's invocation offered by Gavin Landry and remain standing to honor America with the playing of our national anthem by the best sounding band in the land, the Spirit of Northwestern Purple Haze Pit Band. Dear Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for allowing everyone to get here safe tonight, Lord. I ask that you watch over these athletes and let them play in a way that manifests your kingdom, Lord. Uh, we ask that you watch over us on our travels home, Lord, and just humble us in this Lenten season and bring us closer to you. In your name we pray. Amen. from Houston. At guard, a 6'3 freshman from Durham, North Carolina, number zero, Ian Dubose. At forward, a 6'6 freshman from Chapel Hill, North Carolina, number five, David Carrerher. At center, a 6'10 junior from Phoenix, Arizona, number 15, Edward Hart. At guard, a 6'1 senior from Selma, Texas, number 21, Will Gates, Jr. And at guard, a 6'2 junior from Nashville, Tennessee, number 30, Braxton Bonds. Head coach of the Huskies is Ron Cottrell, assisted by Steve Key, Judd Kinney, and Keith Burrard. And now, fans on your feet! And welcome to today's Northwestern State Starters! At guard, a 5'10 freshman from Monroe, Louisiana, number zero, C.J. Jones! At guard, a 6'7 junior from Clarence, Louisiana. Number 10, Malik Matwire. At forward, a 6'8 junior from Port Allen, Louisiana. Number 20, Ishmael Lee. At forward, a 6'5 sophomore from Chicago, Illinois. Number 34, Brandon Hutton. And at guard, a 5'11 senior from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Number 44, Cameron Lazar. Head coach for the Demons is Mike McConaughey, assisted by Jeff Moore, Bill Lewitt, and Jacob Spielbauer. Brandon Hutton, 6'5", 215, the sophomore transfer from Chicago, Illinois, out of De La Salle High School, the University of Iowa, and Indian Hills Community College. And in the middle for the Demons, Ishmael Lane, 6'8", 250, the junior from Port Allen High School, Port Allen, Louisiana. The Demons are coached by Mike McConaughey, 283 and 297 in his 19th year at the helm of the Demons. He is 6'34 and 456 in his 35th year overall. So the Demons have played the top 11 teams in the Southland Conference. Technically the top 10 teams in the Southland Conference because the Demons would be the 13th. But they've uh, played the top 10 teams in the Southland Conference. 35 games over 500 for that group. 
Meanwhile, the next two opponents, Houston Baptist and Incarnate Word, 1-23 and 23 in conference play. Ishmael Lane and Edward Hart will jump center. Lane will tip it back. Cameron Lazar will come away with it. Flip it back to C.J. Jones. Lazar snatched that one out of the air like he was grabbing a, a jump ball pass, a Hail Mary. C.J. Jones out long on the right side. Two players cross for the Demons. Brandon Hutton at the top. Cameron Lazar right wing. A little bit deeper to Jones. Lob inside. Ishmael Lane back to the basket. Goes up. Fires it. No good. Rims out. Rebound, rebound pulled down by David Carraher. Carraher will work against Brandon Hutton. He'll bring it up himself into the front court. Right side. Flip it over. Ian Dubose, the other tremendous freshman that HBU has. Dubose hedged all the way out by Ishmael Lane. Now picked up by Malik Matwire. Works to the right side. Jumper is up and good for Ian Dubose. So Houston Baptist opens the scoring. Huskies lead two to nothing. Into the front court, Demons, right side, Brandon Hutton. Back up top to Jones, Malik Matwire. Dribble handoff, no, keep it around the left baseline and he'll have an easy lay in. Nice job, fake the dribble handoff. Came back the other way, quickly back Dubose the other way. He'll flip it up short, rebound tip. Ishmael Lane comes away with it, throws it long to Hutton. Hutton goes up with it, lays it up and in. Nice job on the run out by the Demons. Turning defense into offense in a hurry. Into the front court, Braxton Bonds. Flips it right side to DeBose. Back to Bonds, out long. Demons lead 4-2. to two. It's their first lead of the ball game. Back right side. Braxton Bonds, the point guard on the dribble. Now with the left hand, high screen and roll. Bonds clears that, works to the left elbow. Now back to the right elbow, go all the way to the baseline. Off glass, no good. Ishmael Lane clears another rebound. Lane will bring it up the floor himself. He's going to work all the way down the right side. Big collision, and that's going to be a blocking foul. Lane made the bucket anyway, but it's waved off. Foul will be called on Edward Hart as uh, Ishmael Lane just went coast to coast with that one. Saw that he had an opening and took, it, took advantage of it. Demons will line up three across on the front of the goal. Malik Matwire will come free in the right corner. He'll dribble it all the way back out. HBU looks like they're slipping into a zone now. HBU in a 2-3 look with 15 to shoot. Top of the key, Malik Matwire dribbles down the left side. Ball is stripped off of Matwire. DuBose knocked it free and it was kicked out of bounds by Matwire. Cameron Lazar will hound Braxton Bonds as he tries to bring it into the front court. Lazar getting his first start of his very young career. Cameron Lazar's only played in his 12th game as a walk-on here from the football team, and that's going to be an out-of-bounds trap in the corner. Demons force the turnover. Houston Baptist not particularly turnover prone. They average just over 14 a game. That's fifth in the Southland Conference, so not, uh, not bad numbers there. C.J. Jones works off a screen to the top of the key. Picks up his dribble, flips it right wing. Right drive by Brandon Hutton, loses footing, gets his, the ball back, has it stripped, and it's picked up by Hutton. He'll just save it out long. Ishmael Lane will come away with it with 13 to shoot. Lane has it stripped, gets it back, 10 to shoot. Flips it to the top, McTwire. C.J. Jones comes away with the loose ball with seven. Works to the right wing. Drives with the left hand. Stop, double clutch, pull up is good for C.J. Jones. Demons lead six to two. Braxton Bonds into the front court. High screen and roll. Demons trap there. They get it back to Carraher into the corner. Left side, Will Gates. Gates skip pass all the way to the right wing to DuBose. He'll fire the three long. That rebound will uh, be saved in bounds by Gates. He'll drive and then lose it. It goes out of bounds. It'll stay HBU basketball. HBU is the top offensive rebounding team in America. They average nearly 16 offensive rebounds a game. That is number one in the country. That has helped them to a plus two, or actually plus 1.9 rebounding margin this year. Inbounding, Bonds gets it into Carraher. He'll be trapped, gets it back. They flip it inside, tough catch, and that's going to be a foul on Cameron Lazar. Question is, was, do they consider that on the shot or on the floor? Foul on Lazar is his first. They're going to say on the shot, even though... Edward Hart didn't really have control of it as he was getting ready to go up. Well, these are the two worst free throw shooting teams in the Southland Conference as Hart promptly misses the first. Houston Baptist, 62%. They're actually two-tenths of a percentage point better than the Demons. Second free throw is good. Front iron backboard and in for Edward Hart. Makes it 6-3. to three. 
C.J. Jones flies into the front court, lob inside to Ishmael Lang. Lang goes up with it, off glass and good. Nice catch, nice finish, and an assist. Something the Demons don't do well, get assists. Dead last in America, averaging nine assists a ball game. Bonds drives, flips it to the middle of the lane, into the left side, off glass, no good left hand. Rebound, Malik McTwired, strip, but Brandon Hutton comes away with it. Hutton up the right-hand side. He'll take it down the right side, lay it up and in. Brandon Hutton goes coast to coast. Demons lead 10 to three here in the early going. Back the other way, ball is loose. Ishmael Lane will pick it up, he'll turn and run. Lane down the middle of the floor, flips it right side to Hutton. Hutton goes up with it with the left hand, no good. Rebound Ishmael Lane. Lane will throw it all the way back out. Brand, uh, Cameron Lazar flips it left corner. C.J. Jones will penetrate, tried to go to Hutton, one pass too many. And it's turned over, Ian Dubose comes away with it, lobs it ahead left side. Carraher gets it back, looking inside, now fires the three, that one's no good back iron. And that rebound's gonna go out of bounds off the Huskies, it'll belong to the Demons. Good start for Northwestern State. 15.46 left to go in the first half of play. NSU leads 10-3 over HBU. We'll take a break. Proudly honors our veterans. Joining us this evening is World War II veteran, Mr. Alan Solomon. Allen left high school with a handful of friends to join the Army and the war effort. He was shipped immediately to the Philippines. He was still a private when wounded during trench warfare in the Battle of Mindanao, and he returned to the United States with a Purple Heart. Always a cowboy at heart, Allen returned to Louisiana and began building the Red River Ranch. Please join NSU President Dr. Chris Maggio in thanking Mr. Allen Solomon for his service to our country and our community. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Allen Solomon. The Walk-On's Independence Bowl, Chevy Land, a bear town and country, and manpower. Demons lead 10 to three, fresh bodies on the floor for NSU, five of them. At the point, Czar Perry, 6'170", the freshman from El Dorado High School, El Dorado, Arkansas. Caleb Starks, 6'3", 195, the freshman from Lafayette, Louisiana, Lafayette Christian Academy. Isaiah Sweeney, 6'3", 190, the senior from Compton, California, Compton High School, Portland State, East Los Angeles Junior College. DeAndre Love, 6'4", 190, junior transfer, Seattle, Washington, West Seattle High School, Eastern Arizona Junior College. And in the middle, Larry Owen, 6'8", 260, the freshman from Monroe out of Carroll High School. Ball on the right wing, Zar Perry, 10 to shoot, feeds to Isaiah Sweeney, top of the key, long two, back iron no good. Caleb Starks clears the rebound, back to Sweeney. Sweeney will penetrate from there, flip it over to Larry Owens. Owens lays it up and good, great look. Isaiah Sweeney to Larry Owens, and the Demons lead by nine, 12 to three to start this ball game. Demons have started six of nine from the field in this one. Braxton Bonds on the left wing, hands off, off the leg, and picked back up by Dubose. Dubose off a screen, spins, takes it down the right side of the lane into traffic, off glass, no good, gets his own rebound, stripped by Isaiah Sweeney. Sweeney comes out with it on the run. Sweeney over to DeAndre Love, Love across to Zar Perry, five-footer left baseline, back iron, and good! Zar Perry's first points of the ball game, and it's a 14-3 run to start this ball game for the Demons. 14.35 left to go, first half of play. Bonds guarded by DeAndre Love, hands off, Ian Dubose. Dubose gonna flip it inside to the big fella. The big fella puts it up and good. That's Edward Hart who just had an easy lay in there. It ends a 14-3 run to start this game, 14-5. Zar Perry, out long, skips it right wing. Caleb Starks back to Perry, top of the key, Zaya Sweeney, inside to Owens. Owens turns baseline, lays it up and in, right past Hart. 16-5, the Demons with the lead with 14 minutes left to go in the first half of play. Bonds trapped out at half court, feeds it, now they lob it inside, and again the big fella Hart spins baseline, double team, loses it, picked up by DeAndre Love. Ahead to Zar Perry. Perry works to the right side, feeds it over to Isaiah Sweeney. Sweeney up with the layup, good. 18-5, the lead for the Demons. Quickly back the other way, Braxton Bonds, and 
Ron Cottrell has not called a timeout here. Down the lane goes Dubose. He lays it up and in. He's got four. 18 to seven, the lead for the Demons with 13 and a half left to go in the first half of play. Czar Perry will work the ball into the front court. HBU goes man. They started zone, or they started man, then went to a 2-3 for a bit. Now they're back man. DeAndre Love at the top, right wing Czar Perry, lob inside to Owens, easy catch, easy finish. A lot of easy looks inside for Larry Owens, and it's 20 to seven in favor of the Demons. Braxton Bonds will race into the front court. Across the lane it goes. That shot is blocked, but a foul is going to be called on Isaiah Sweeney. And it's all Edward Hart as Sweeney picks up his first. Hart has three of his team's seven points. Ian DuBose has four. Second, well, the first wave getting set to check back into the ball game. As the Demons lead 20 to seven, they have hit 10 of their first 13 shots from the field. This from the worst shooting team in the Southland Conference in NSU. Hart's first free throw, no good, back iron. Two fresh bodies in for HBU. Philip McKenzie, 6'4", 185, the freshman from Nassau in the Bahamas out of Cannon School, and also Jalen Gates, the brother of Will Gates, 6'1", 155, sophomore from Selma, Texas out of Clemens High School. Demons bring back in the entire first wave. C.J. Jones. Cameron Lazar, Malik Matwire, Brandon Hutton, Ishmael Lane. Second free throw, rattles in and out, no good. Lane clears the rebound. Fires it ahead to Jones up the left-hand side. Jones into the corner for Cameron Lazar. He'll penetrate right baseline, misses the lay-in. Rebound, though, tapped out to Brandon Hutton. Hutton penetrates, tried to go to Malik Matwire, but Matwire wasn't ready. Went right through his hands. That was a great look, but just a little bit too high and too strong. If he takes a little off of that, that's an easy lay-in. By the way, the Demons, who average just nine assists a game, already have six in the first half. Then uh, Demons get a steal. Ishmael Lane gets the steal on the inbound, throws it out long, but the Demons turn it back over. Here comes Jalen Gates up the left side. He'll throw it up, and that's a charge taken by C.J. Jones. Jalen Gates will pick up his first as Chikuka Emili will check into the ball game. 6'7", the junior transfer from New York's New City, New York, out of Clarkston North High School in New Mexico Military Institute. Demons lead 20-7 with 12.35 left to go. C.J. Jones out to Brandon Hutton, right wing to Cameron Lazar, back to Jones, looking inside, gets it inside. Right baseline, Ishmael Lane turns to face, spins right past Hart, goes up and lays it up and in. Well, I feel bad for Edward Hart because he is getting absolutely abused down low. They get it to him on the left, the mid post left side. He'll turn back to the basket, works all the way to the right side. Shot blocked by Ishmael Lane, recovered by Cameron Lazar. Feeds C.J. Jones. Jones up the right-hand side, crosses to the middle, works down the lane, skips it to the left corner. Lazar will penetrate from there to the free throw line. Pull it all the way back out to Hutton. 18 to shoot, clock under 12 minutes remaining. Demons lead 22 to 7. Jones calling out the play as Demons run into each other. Hutton has it at the top. Feeds Lazar right wing with seven. Now Jones inside McGuire, right baseline. Spins in, loses it. He's fouled with four on the shot clock. Foul is called on the big fella, Edward Hart, and that is his second. So Hart, who has really struggled on the defensive end, is pick, just picked up his second foul. 11.41 left to go. First half of play. NSU leads 22 to 7. We'll take a break. Come back with more after this on the Demon Sports Network. Creative and Performing Arts. Thank you, Leslie. We want to watch the game for the best seat in the house on Texas Demons to 40213 for a chance to sit in the best seat in the house. Sponsored by Ivan Smith Furniture. Texas Demons to 40213. And if you receive the message, come down to the score table and find a game day staff member.
This Demon Sports Network broadcast is brought to you by Mike and Kenny Knotts, Salter Bus Lines, and Kilpatrick Life. Northwestern State out to a 22-7 lead on Houston Baptist. The Demons have hit 11 of their first 15 shots from the field. They're out rebounding HBU 10-3. And for a team that only has averages nine assists a game, they already have six assists on their 11 made baskets. Demons line up three across at the free throw line. They get it in. We're going to have a hold underneath on Philip McKenzie. By the way, Edward Hart picked up two fouls, and so the big man inside is gone. HBU gets a little bit smaller and more athletic, but it, the uh, Demons just abusing Hart inside. NSU 20 points in the paint of their 22. Jones looking to trigger the inbound. Just lobs it into Ishmael Lane in the left corner. Skips it all the way back out. Vontae Ott in the ball game. 6'3", 185, the freshman from Victorville, California, out of Hesperia High School. Ott has it right wing with 10 to shoot. Back out to C.J. Jones. Jones drives the left side into traffic, flips it inside the lane. Lane up, no good. Rebound will be collected by HBU's Chikuka Emili. Gives to Braxton Bonds. Bonds will bring it into the front court, guarded by Vontae Ott. Works with the right hand all the way down the right side. Now pulls it all the way back out to the right wing. Now drives right baseline with it all the way. And skips past left side. Philip McKenzie drives. Strip. Ball picked up by McKenzie. Back out to Bonds. Left corner, nine to shoot. Bonds flips it mid post. Left side, Carraher backs his way in and lays it up and in against Brandon Hutton. That was too easy for David Carraher. 22-9 the lead for the Demons. Vontae Ott trapped. He'll dribble back out, away from it. Back towards the trap. Now flip it out long to C.J. Jones. Jones back to Ott right wing. Back to Jones, 14 to shoot. Free throw line left elbow. Malik Matwire back to Ott, top of the key, Jones. Penetrates from there, left corner. Baseline, Brandon Hutton, long two, back iron, no good. Offensive rebound, put back good for Malik Matwire, who's got six. 24-9, NSU with the lead with 10-20 left to go. In the first half of play, back cut right side, and that's going to be a missed shot by the uh, cutting Jalen Gates blocked by Ishmael Lane. C.J. Jones the other way, buries the short jumper from the left side. 26-9, the Demons with the lead. As Bonds loses it to Carraher. Carraher works on the left wing against Vontae Ott. Crossover, works with the right hand, pull up from just inside, just sort of pushed it up, no good. We're going to have an over-the-back violation inside against Chikuka and Neely. Ishmael Lane had good position inside. Foul on Emili will be his first. That's the fourth team foul against HBU. The Huskies are four of 13 from the field for 31%. The Demons are 13 of 19 from the field for 68% and lead 26-9. By the way, this Huskies team averages nearly 77 points a game. They have nine right now. DeAndre Love at the top, second wave is back in. He's Isaiah Sweeney, mid post right side, Larry Owens. Tried to lob it inside to Darian Dixon. It's tapped back out to Zar Perry. Perry at the top, 2-3 zone look for HBU. Free throw line, Owens right down the lane, lays it up, missed it, he went in and out. Rebound tapped up, but ultimately HBU comes away with it. Bonds gives it right side to Carraher. He'll stop and pull the three, high arcing and good for David Carraher. He's got five. 26-12, quickly the other way, Isaiah Sweeney, Zar Perry, he'll penetrate, flip it to Larry Owens. Owens loses it on the way up, gets it back. Jump ball will be the call, and possession will go back to HBU. Beyond, uh, Darian Dixon in the ball game for the first time, 6-8-2-20, the freshman from Bowie, Maryland, out of Bishop McNamara in the Scotland Performance Institute of Pennsylvania. Demons pressuring full court, and a traveling violation called on Philip McKenzie who could not move but started running the baseline. You can only run the baseline after a made shot. And uh, he ran the baseline after a foul was called. Lob it to Larry Owens, mid post, skip it across the lane, Dixon. He'll go up with it, off glass, no good, but a foul. Foul called on Chikuki Emili. Chikuka Emili will pick up his second person. And so that will be two shots for Darian Dixon. Dixon coming off of a 4.2 rebound performance. Mike McConathy basically said he spent the last several days after that uh, embarrassing performance out at SFA sort of retuning the team, kind of getting them back in the mindset of what Demon basketball is all about as the first free throw is no good for Darian Dixon. Into the ball game comes Oliver Lynch Daniels. 
6'2", the freshman from Chapel Hill, North Carolina, out of Oak Hill Academy. Darian Dixon, by the way, a 65% free throw shooter, but just 57% in conference play as uh, Dixon attempting the first free throw of the ball game for the Demons. The officials getting together, Andrew Walton, the lead official, Danny Chance, and Chance Moore. Your three officials having some questions as to what was going on. Now they've got everything set, and Darian Dixon will go back to the line. That one's no good as well. He'll fly in, can't quite collect his own offensive rebound, and HBU's Oliver Lynch Daniels will come away with it. He'll work the ball into the front court. The right side, back cut right side. Double clutch layup is up and good for Braxton Bonds. 26-14, quickly back Isaiah Sweeney right side to Zar Perry. Looking inside, can't get it. Now he'll go all the way around to the left wing, pull it back. Top of the key, Larry Owens. Owens will drive with the right hand, flip it back out. Isaiah Sweeney, but instead a charge is called against Larry Owens. Owens got a little too deep with the dribble before he threw it back out. And so the Demons pick up their third team foul. They lead 26-14. HBU has scored on back-to-back -back possessions for the first time in this ball game as Lynch Daniels has it still in the backcourt, hounded by Zar Perry, flips it ahead, Jalen Gates. Right side, Braxton Bonds. Bonds guarded by Larry Owens right now as HBU has gone super small. And the Demons don't really have a good matchup for Owens defensively. Carraher fires another high arcing three and buries it. He's got eight, he's heated up. It's now a nine point lead for the Demons, 26-17. DeAndre Love flips it back to Zar Perry inside Larry Owens. Great catch, great finish, great pass. Owens has eight, and the Demons back up by double digits, 28-17. They lob it ahead, uh, excuse me, right side three from Jalen Gates, no good. Rebound tip, finally controlled by DeAndre Love. Love will work it up the left-hand side himself, crosses to the middle, flips it to Isaiah Sweeney. Sweeney into the corner for Zar Perry, looking inside again, up top to Sweeney. Now they get it inside Dixon, back to right wing. Zar Perry three, good! Zar Perry knocks down the triple, and the Demons have responded with five in a row. They are back up 31-17. Follow the right wing, Carraher flips it on the back cut. Bonds lays it up and in with a little English. Bonds has four, makes it 31-19. Zar Perry into the front court with it. Works to the top of the key. Still zone look here for HBU. By the way, for Zar Perry, that was his first made three of the conference season. Looking for two in a row, and he knocks down two in a row. 34-19, quickly back the other way. Carraher, shot is up and good with the left hand. He's got 10, 34-21. Quickly back the other way, and that's a almost steal. Darian Dixon will drive the right side, float it with the right hand, back iron, no good. Long rebound. Oliver Lynch Daniels flips it right wing, three on the way from there, back iron, no good. Larry Owens knocked to the ground on the rebound, and he'll shoot free throws when we come back. Clock under eight minutes left to go, 6.48 to be precise as Philip McKenzie picks up his second personal. Larry Owens will shoot one and one when we return. 6.48 left to go. Northwestern State leads 34-21. We'll take a timeout, come back with more after this on the Demons Sports Network. Station for Northwestern State Athletics, Forkham Demons.
tonight, Zar Perry, who had not hit a three in Southland Conference play yet. Zar Perry coming back off of that off the court issue has only played in five games in conference play, but had gone 0 for 8 from beyond the arc. He is 2 for 2 tonight so far. And Northwestern State out to a 13-point lead right now. They've led by as much as 17 in this first half. It was 26 to 9. The Demons started on a 14 to 3 run. Front of the 1-1 one one is no good for Larry Owens. Rebound pulled down by David Carraher. Demons not helping themselves at the free throw line. They're 0 for 3, and Cameron Lazar will pick up his second personal. Trying to pressure in the full court, and so Ishmael Lane will come in to replace Larry Owens. Brandon Hutton, Malik Matwire, C.J. Jones, Ishmael Lane, Cameron Lazar. Demons pick up full court. They have forced so far six turnovers by HBU while the Demons have committed six themselves. Ball into the hands of Jalen Gates, the sophomore, the brother of Will Gates, the senior. Works off a screen on the right side. Lazar doing a nice job there. Now to Ian DuBose. DuBose drives against Ishmael Lane. Shot up no good. Rebound Lane. Lane then almost stripped from behind. Ball is now loose, and it's picked up by the Huskies. Three from the left corner. That one's no good. Long rebound. Carraher comes away with it. Right wing three from Gates. That one's good. Jalen Gates' first points of the ball game. And one of the things we talked about, the Huskies, they are the best offensive rebounding team in the nation. So you have to be wary of that. They get it inside Ishmael Lane, spins into the lane, puts it right over the lane of the rim. Good for Lane. He's got eight. 36-24. Lane looked like he had some anger in that one. The lob to the back side. And that's going to be a shot off the bottom of the backboard. And the foul will be called on Brandon Hutton, who had flown by. And there was definite contact, but the foul, the foul was called very late. Hutton had flown by Oliver Lynch Daniels, who had pump faked. Hutton definitely made contact with him, but uh, no call. They work it to Carraher, who's fouled on the inbound. Mike McConathy in the ear of Danny Chance as C.J. Jones is called for his first. That's the sixth team foul against the Demons. 5.52 left to go first half. The Demons lead by 12, 36-24. They lob it out to Ian DuBose at the top. Now to Braxton Bonds, gives it inside to Carraher, who traveled, takes it back. Turnaround three from the top is no good, but a long rebound picked up by HBU. Three from Gates left wing is no good, and another long rebound, and a foul underneath the basket called on David Carraher. So the very talented freshman from Chapel Hill, North Carolina, 13th leading scorer among freshmen in the nation. He averages nearly 16 points a game. He's already got 10 here. But uh, he gets an over-the-back violation, so that will send Cameron Lazar to the free throw line, still looking for his first points as a demon. Cameron Lazar in this ball game missed a, uh, a lay-in off a drive. He started this game, and so far he's uh, missed a shot and had two fouls. Front end of the one and one, no good. Rimmed in and out for Lazar, still looking for his first point as a Northwestern State demon. Demons are 0 for 4 from the free throw line. Dubose takes it in, floats it up off glass and good. Ian Dubose has six. 36-26, the lead for NSU with 5.25 remaining. 2-3 zone look for HBU. Demons set up their offensive attack. Right wing Brandon Hutton out long to Cameron Lazar. Flips it free throw line Malik Matwire. Penetrates, floats it up with the left hand, no good. Kind of partially blocked by Carraher, who collects the rebound. Dubose will bring it into the front court, drive the right side of the lane, go up into traffic, off glass, no good. Tip up, no good. Rebound Brandon Hutton. Hutton, fancy dribbling, he'll back it out and give it to C.J. Jones. Smart move by Hutton. Clock under five minutes remaining. The Demons lead by ten on offense. Hutton right side, penetrates to the baseline, drives the baseline, lost it on the way over, thought he was fouled, no call. Here comes Braxton Bonds. Bonds down the left side of the lane, back out to Carraher, top of the key. Gates, he'll fire another three. That one is good. Jalen Gates has six, and it's a seven-point lead. The Huskies have knocked down their threes, four of nine from beyond the arc in the first half. Hutton out long to Cameron Lazar. Left wing, C.J. Jones. Jones, top of the key, Hutton. Puts it to the free throw line, McGuire. Goes inside, puts it up, no good off the back iron. Rebound pulled down by Braxton Bonds. Bonds works to the right wing, out long. 
4.10 left to go. Flips it to Carraher on the right side. Pushed a little bit. Now gathers himself. Tries to drive the right side. Gives it back to Bonds. Bonds takes it in. Lays it up with the right hand. Good. Braxton Bonds has six. Demons have gone cold. Huskies have outscored the Demons 12-2. And Mike McConaughey has to call a timeout. Well, HBU has found its groove a little bit here offensively. And the Demons have gone cold deep, uh, on their offensive end. Take a break, full break, come back with more after this. Demons lead by five, 36-31. You're listening to the Demons Sports Network. 55 points, you win. Just take your game ticket or student coupons at the local Raisin Cane's on Kaiser Avenue. Buy one box combo, get a second absolutely free with the Cane's Challenge from Raisin Cane's. <laughs> Cut a 17-point lead, which was once a 17-point lead. They've cut it all the way down to five as the Demons have got so, gone somewhat cold, and HBU is heated up. They're knocking down threes, four of nine from beyond the arc. C.J. Jones, Malik McTwire, Czar Perry, Cameron Lazar, and Ishmael Lane. Lazar has it, lobs into the left corner for Perry, back out long to Lazar. Dribbles to the top, 14 to shoot. Now back to Perry, your left wing. Perry feeds it to Ishmael Lane, free throw line, skips it right corner. Jones for three, back iron no good. Rebound tipped and controlled by Bonds. Bonds comes out with it, flips it ahead right side. Gates is going to fire the wild three, back iron no good. Cameron Lazar goes up high and collects the rebound to Malik Matwire. Matwire into the front court, drives the left side, flips it across to Lane. Lane gathers himself, dumps it right in, Edward, in uh, David Carraher's face. And they're going to call a technical foul on Ishmael Lane. Wow. Ishmael Lane dunks for his 10th point of the ball game. And then and here's the thing. Ishmael Lane was dunking. David Carraher was one foot from him when he dunked. That's a pretty, pretty weak call if you ask me. Gates' first free throw is good. Jalen Gates has seven. 38-32. Ishmael Lane just turned and dunked it as Gates makes both. He's got eight. Demons lead is cut once more to five, 38-33. Ishmael Lane picks up his first personal and first technical as Isaiah Sweeney will check back in for the Demons. Cameron Lazar will leave. So Ishmael Lane just turned and dunked. David Carroll was one foot from him. Lane couldn't help that. I mean, it wasn't like he, he did anything toward Carroll. He just dunked. He gets called for it. Car uh, drive by Bonds, back out. Gates another three. That one's good. Jalen Gates has 11. And the lead has been cut to two. Zar Perry back out to C.J. Jones. Top of the key, Ishmael Lane. Right wing, Isaiah Sweeney. Sweeney will split defenders. Float it with the right hand. Rattles in and out, no good. Rebound out of bounds off of Ishmael Lane. It'll belong to the Huskies with 2.52 left to go in the first half. Sweeney will pop out, and Caleb Starks will check back in. Demons shooting 60% from the field. HBU now 45%, and they've hit 5 of 11 from beyond the arc. Demons almost get the steal on the inbound as Carraher will bring it forward. Works against Malik Matwire. Out long in the hands of Will Gates, Jr. Gates will drive the left side against Ishmael Lane. Turn around, up high, no good. Rebound tapped out to Lane by Czar Perry. Perry gets it back. He'll speed into the front court. Work with the left hand. Flip it over to Matwire. Matwire missed the lay-in. Rebound will be knocked out of bounds by HBU. It'll belong to the Demons. Oh, Czar Perry fed Malik Matwire perfectly for an easy lay-in. And Matwire couldn't quite get it to fall. 
And then ball rattled around. HBU knocked it out of bounds. Isaiah Sweeney, Larry Owens will check in. Ishmael Lane and Malik, Malik McTwire will check out. 228 left. Demons up two. Their 17-point lead is all but evaporated as they lob it into Larry Owens. Owens back to Perry. Left corner three. Front iron no good. Long rebound. Oliver Lynch Daniels to the left wing. He'll drive, flip it right side Gates. Gates will drive right baseline. Shot up is no good, but he's fouled. And Jalen Gates with 11 in the first half. Isaiah Sweeney picks up his second personal. Jalen Gates comes in averaging 12 a game. He already has 11 in the first half, including three threes. And he's going back to the free throw line where he is two for two. So the Demons can see their entire 17-point lead vanish in mere moments. They've been outscored 17-4 since they were up 34-19. As HBU has found its groove offensively. Gates, first free throw, no good. Now two for three from the line. Neither team shooting the ball well from the line. HBU is three for seven. And 0 for four from Northwestern State. Second free throw on the way. That one is good for Jalen Gates. He's got 12. Makes it 38-37. HBU on a 20-4 run. 2-3 zone for the Huskies. Caleb Starks right wing. Back out long to C.J. Jones. Back to Starks right wing. Penetrates to the right elbow. Back to Zar Perry. Into the left corner, C.J. Jones. Jones dribbles. Trying to look inside. Skip pass to Caleb Starks. 10 to shoot, Starks dribbles to the top, lobs it to the free throw line, Owens, skip pass left corner, Jones, back up top, Starks, he'll pull in from just inside of three, no good, rebound tipped and finally will be controlled by HBU. In the hands of Will Gates. Minute 40 remaining, HBU can take its second lead of the game, they led two to nothing. High screen and roll. Gates drives the left side, loses it on the way up, out of bounds are gonna say off of NSU. Isaiah Sweeney saying there was no way it was off of me. Chance Moore says it is. HBU will have it from the left baseline with a minute 32 remaining. They lob it out long. That's Will Gates. Right side to Braxton Bonds. Feeds to Carraher. Cutting right side. Fade away on the way is good. David Carraher has 12 and HBU leads 39-38. They have erased a 17-point deficit in the first half of play. C.J. Jones out long with a minute 14 remaining. The Demons have scored just four points, and their last field goal was nearly two minutes ago. They try to go inside. Owens catch off the tip around right wing to Jones, right corner Sweeney. He'll penetrate into traffic, lose it, gets it back, turn around from the right elbow, no good. Rebound knocked out of bounds by HBU. It'll stay Demon basketball with 57 seconds left as the Huskies bring in Ian Dubose. And Ishmael Lane will come in for Northwestern State. Lane, who got that technical for turning around and dunking in front of Ian or in front of uh, David Carraher. Demons will line up three across in front of the rim. That's one of their favorite inbound sets from the baseline. Zar Perry lobs it out to Ishmael Lane at the top. Skips it right corner, Isaiah Sweeney back to Perry in the corner. Perry dribbles to the right wing, skip to Caleb Stark's left wing, back up top. Right wing Perry, the free throw line Lane, jumper from there, rattles in. Ishmael Lane's got 12 in the first half. Demons back on top, 40 to 39. As HBU breaks the pressure of the Demons, Dubose up the left side, crosses over, works inside, strip, gets it back, back out to Carraher. He'll flip it to the right corner, three from Oliver Lynch, Daniel is no good. Rebound pulled down by Starks, head to Zar Perry. Perry the backside lob, too strong for Isaiah Sweeney, but he throws it back out to Ishmael Lane into the corner. Perry for three left corner, front back iron no good. Back comes Carraher. Carraher up the left side, he'll stop and pull a three. That one's no good. Rebound Czar Perry with 10 to shoot. Perry works with the left hand, steps back with seven, skips it out to Lane with four. Lane, he'll take it to the top of the key for three. Good! Ishmael Lane with the triple right before halftime. And the Demons will take a four-point lead into the half of 
Ready to start the second half of action. Northwestern State leads by four. HBU will have the basketball first. Braxton Bonds, David Carraher, uh, along with Ian DuBose, Edward Hart in the middle, and Will Gates Jr. The Demons will go with C.J. Jones, Brandon Hutton, Cameron Lazar, Ishmael Lane, Malik McGuire. Bonds out long, flips it right side. Carraher works to the top of the key, fires a three, back iron no good. Offensive rebound, Bonds inside. Back to Carraher, another three on the way, this time left wing, and that's good. Can't give up the offensive rebounds against the best offensive rebounding team in the country in HBU. Matwire hands off to Brandon Hutton. Hutton sets the pick. He'll work to the right wing. Slit speeds inside. Now lose it, throws it outside in the hands of Cameron Lazar. Back out to C.J. Jones, 14 to shoot. High screen and roll with Malik Matwire. Jones, right wing to Ishmael Lane. He'll drive with the left hand, takes it down the left side, lays it up, no good. Tip up, no good. Gets his own rebound again. Puts it back up and good. Ishmael Lane's got 15. 44-42 and probably a couple of rebounds perhaps on that particular sequence. We'll see if they give him the one or two. Spin by Ian DuBose, loses it, gets it back. Drives left baseline into traffic. No, shot is no good. Rebound Cameron Lazar. C.J. Jones out with it. Jones takes it, flips it right baseline. Brandon Hutton will drive. He stepped out of bounds. Demons turn it over for the first time in the second half. Eighth time for the ball game. Demons are going to pick up full court here as Braxton Bonds will work against Cameron Lazar. Bonds into the front court long. Double team comes there. They get it to Carahurry. Flips it in the corner. Right baseline 12 footer is up and good for Will Gates. His first points of the ball game. We're tied at 44. Excuse me, 45 44. Demons lead with 18 20 left to go. HBU in the 2 3 zone. Lazar out long, right wing. Free throw line. All the way around left wing to Brandon Hutton. Hutton back up top to Jones. Jones crosses to the right, 10 to shoot. Hutton left wing. He'll drive in from there, float it with the left hand, and that's no good. And that's also going to be a charge called on Brandon Hutton. And Hutton will be leaving this ball game. He picks up his second foul. Isaiah Sweeney will check in for Brandon Hutton. Hutton's been... It's been a little bit uh, of a struggle for Brandon Hutton this year. The junior college transfer hadn't played in a couple of years, really. Signed with Iowa initially out of high school in Chicago and uh, was basically redshirted at Iowa. Struggled since then. Uh, Bonds gets past his defender, flips to DeBose left wing. DeBose, free throw line. Hart back to DeBose, right elbow. He'll back up to the top, flip it left wing to Bonds. He'll fire a three. That one's back iron, no good. Ishmael Lane inhales his eighth rebound of the ball game. Into the front court, C.J. Jones. 2-3 zone for HBU. Isaiah Sweeney flips it to Ishmael Lane. Ball strip, but Malik McTwire comes away with it. Now it's loose on the floor. Finally will be picked up by Sweeney. Back out to Lazar, right corner Jones. He'll penetrate from there, flip it back to Lazar. Left wing Sweeney steps into a three. Good! Isaiah Sweeney, great extra pass by Cameron Lazar. Demons lead 48-44. Three from Kara, her left wing, tries to draw the, the charge on the flop, doesn't get it. McTwire gets the rebound, loses it. Kara, her comes away with it, flips it over. Ian DuBose, out long. Malik McTwire just trying to do a little too much with the basketball. And Kara, her stripped it from him. Double team, they flip it inside to Hart, skip it. Back to Bonds, left wing, inside to Hart. He'll spin, go up with it. Shot is blocked, rebound to Ishmael Lane. Lane's going to look to run with it. He'll spin. Lane over to Sweeney. The lob, it's knocked away. From Sweeney, back comes HBU, Bonds. Back out to Ian DuBose. He'll stop and take a three, no good. Long rebound. Bonds will spin inside. High arcing floater is good for Braxton Bonds. He's got eight. Demon's trying to get a little too fancy on the lob to Ishmael Lane from Isaiah Sweeney. Wasn't a bad thought, just uh, needed a little bit better execution on it. Lazar, right wing to CJ Jones. HBU stays in the 2-3 zone. Top of the key, Sweeney. Lob to the free throw line, Ishmael Lane. Skip it right corner. Jones for three. Good! C.J. Jones has seven. Demons lead 51-46. NSU, the worst three-point shooting team in the country, is currently five for eight from distance. Three the other way is an air ball. Cameron Lazar clears the miss from Lane as, as C.J. Jones just slips and falls as Lazar was throwing the outlet pass to him. 
Well, that's just a bad luck turnover right there for the Demons. Jones was turning to go up the floor. Lazar was going to hit him in stride, and, K and C.J. Jones just slipped and fell. Under 16 media timeout, 51-46. NSU with the lead. We'll take a break, come back with more after this on the Demon Sports Network. Demon Sports Network broadcast is brought to you by the Walk-Ons Independence Bowl, Chevy Land, a bear town and country, and manpower. The Demons have started the second half, three of four from the field and two of two from beyond the arc. Isaiah Sweeney's knocked one down and C.J. Jones has knocked one down. Demons are going to pressure full court after the uh, unfortunate bad luck turnover. C.J. Jones just slipped and fell as he was getting ready to catch the outlet pass from Cameron Lazar and the ball just went out of bounds. Five turnovers already in the second half for the Demons. HBU has the basketball. Oh, almost a travel there. They throw it out. Braxton Bonds has it against Zar Perry. He'll drive with the right hand, step back, crossover, drive again with the right hand, throws it up and he's fouled. Good, Braxton. Good, Braxton. Foul called on Zar Perry and that will be his first. So that will send Braxton Bonds to the line to shoot two. HBU has already attempted 10 shots in the second half. That's mostly courtesy of the Demons' five turnovers in the second half. NSU only turned it over twice, uh, seven times in the first half total. But they're already almost there with nearly five minutes left to go, or nearly five minutes gone by. Both free throws are missed, and we're going to have a foul underneath. Foul on David Carraher, who was climbing the back of Darian Dixon inside. Nice job by Darian Dixon, sealing off Carraher inside. Demons with the second wave, Zar Perry, Darian Dixon, DeAndre Love, Isaiah Sweeney staying in, and Larry Owens. Sweeney has it right wing. Double team comes out at him. He'll flip it to Dixon, right elbow. Dixon will drive, feed it to Owens. Owens misses the dunk, but he's fouled. Foul called on David Carraher, and that's his third. And that's the leading score for HBU coming in. And uh, Carraher begging to uh, stay in. Ron Cottrell, I don't imagine, is prone to bring him out. Carraher is the leading scorer for HBU coming into this one as Owens misses the free throw. The Demons are 0 for 5 from the free throw line. Demons are... 56% from the field, 62% from three. 0 for five from the charity stripe. Larry Owens, that one back iron as well. Demons cannot hit their free throws today. They're already one of the worst free throw shooting teams in the country, but it's been a struggle in this one. Drive from the left side, spin, fade away on the way is no good for Jalen Gates. Rebound comes out to Darian Dixon off the tip. He flips it to DeAndre Love, Love up the left-hand side. Stop, double team, flips it on the baseline to Owens. Owens steps through a double team, works with the right hand. Good on the roll for Larry Owens. He's got 10. Demons lead by seven again, 53-46 with 14.39 left to go in the ball game. Jalen Gates into the front court, high screen and roll. Works and that's gonna be a foul on Larry Owens for a little body contact. Jalen Gates took it right into Larry Owens. That was the that was the Jalen West special. Jalen West could draw that foul better than any player I've ever seen. He would come off a screen, the big man would hedge, and he would just take it right into him and draw that foul. Jalen Gates out long, 12 in the first half for him. Feeds it right wing. Drive on the right baseline. 
by uh, Philip McKenzie. Now gives to Carraher. Carraher slides through, scoops with the right hand. Good. David Carraher's got 17. And we've got a stoppage of play, and I think it may be a technical foul. Oh, we have a delay of game warning against Carraher. So they tee up Ishmael Lane immediately, but they give the warning to David Carraher. Isaiah Sweeney left wing, back out long. DeAndre Love back to Sweeney, inside to Owens. Owens spins, flips it with the right hand, back iron no good. A little too strong, a little too far maybe for Owens. Back the other way. Braxton Bonds crosses to the middle, flips it over. Inside, shot is up and good for the big fella. Dave, uh, excuse me, uh, uh, Edward Hart, he's got five. 53-50, NSU with the lead. Out long as the first wave gets set to check back in. DeAndre Love. Out long Zar Perry at the top. Perry will penetrate, flip it over to Owens. Owens spins baseline. He is just absolutely mauled underneath. They just got on and rode his back. And a traveling violation is going to be called. They're going to say that he traveled before the guy rode him piggyback in the lane. So the first wave is back in as NSU leads 53-50 with 13.37 left to go in the ballgame. Owens definitely traveled. He shuffled his feet, but looked like he was pushed in the process. Braxton Bonds works off a screen into the front court, flips it back to David Carraher. Back to Bonds. Bonds flips it right wing. That's Philip McKenzie. Chakuli Emili. They flip it down. Cameron Lazar with a great takeaway. Here comes C.J. Jones into the front court. Jones will back it out, set it up. Great job, Lazar. Got his hand on it, knocked it away, forced the turnover. Out long. Lazar, left corner, Hutton. Back to Lazar, long left wing. Dribbles to the top, right wing, C.J. Jones. 12 to shoot. Lazar, left wing, Hutton. Left corner, McTwire. He'll set and take a three. Back iron, no good. Rebound pulled down by Emili. Chakuka Emili picks up the rebound. Into the front court, Braxton Bonds will set up the... Offense, high pick and roll out long. Demons do a nice job with that. Carraher gets it, three from the right wing, and he's fouled by Brandon Hutton. Hutton will pick up his third. Carraher has a very unusual shot. His shot has, he just sort of, he doesn't really shoot the ball, per se, with the flip of the wrist. He sort of pushes it with his arm. There's not really a flick of the wrist, especially on his threes. He just kind of throws it up, and there's no real wrist release with it as he makes the first free throw. It goes in. I mean, it doesn't matter how you shoot. Reggie Miller had one of the worst-looking shots in basketball, but it went in. Second free throw is good. He's got the third upcoming. Carraher has 19 in this ballgame, sort of single-handedly keeping HBU in it right now. He scored almost all the points here in the second half as – he knocks down all three. Carraher's got 20, and we are tied at 53. C.J. Jones into the front court with it. Right wing Cameron Lazar. Lazar dribbles to the little closer, flips it up top. Her left wing C.J. Jones, left elbow Ishmael Lane. Skip pass right wing Hutton. Back up top Lazar, left wing Jones. Jones with nine to shoot. Top of the key Hutton, out long. Lobs it to the free throw line. Ishmael Lane turns and fires, no good. Rebound pulled down by HBU. Probably if he'd have thrown that diagonally, he had Malik Matwire wide open. Back the other way. Layup attempt, no good, but a late foul is going to be called on Cameron Lazar. Lazar will pick up his third personal. And so that will send HBU back to the line. Demons have only attempted six free throws. They've missed all of them. While HBU has attempted 13, this will be 14 and 15 free throw attempts now for the Huskies. HBU shooting 42% from the field. The Demons 53%. First free throw rattles in and out for Bonds. No good. Brandon Hutton leaves. Cameron Lazar leaves. Zar Perry and Isaiah Sweeney are in with C.J. Jones, Ishmael Lane, and Malik McTwire. 12.07 left to go. We're tied at 53. Bonds makes one of two free throws. He's got nine. HBU retakes the lead, 54-53. Zar Perry out long. Back to C.J. Jones, right wing. Jones dribbles to the top. Back to Isaiah Sweeney, left wing Perry. Inside to Ishmael Lane, skip pass right wing. Sweeney for three. Good! Isaiah Sweeney's got eight. 
56-54, Isaiah Sweeney, a 22% three-point shooter at 26% in conference play. And he's knocked down a couple of triples in this one. Caraher, right corner, left elbow, jumper on the way from there, his front iron, no good by Emili. Rebound pulled down by McGuire. McGuire gets away from defender, skips it right baseline, back to the right wing, Sweeney. He'll penetrate back to the corner. Perry, wide open for three, long. Rebound pulled down by Caraher in the hands of Braxton Bonds. Czar Perry picks him up quickly. Good look at a three from Perry, just couldn't get it to fall. He hit his first two, he's missed his last three. Ball tipped out by McGuire out near half court, picked up by Braxton Bonds. Works with the left hand off a double screen to the left elbow, flips it in the corner, drive by Gates. Gates takes it up, shot blocked. Rebound out to Caraher with six to shoot. He'll drive right baseline, floated up good with the right hand. I don't even know how he shot, he shot that from his hip. 56 all, 22 for David Caraher in this ball game. He is definitely going to be the freshman of the year in the Southland Conference. I don't think there's any doubt of that. HBU stays in the 2-3 zone. Demons getting their set with 13 to shoot here. Right wing CJ, uh, Cesar Perry, rather. Perry to the Isaiah Sweeney. Sweeney drives in, floats with the right hand. Ishmael Lane for the two-hand slam. Lane's got 17. Now that was a beautiful lob from Sweeney to Lane. Demons are going to pressure full court. They lob it ahead to Bond, skip to Caraher up the right-hand side. Caraher will be stopped. Works with the right hand. Perry's going to come over to double. They throw it down low across the lane. That's going to be an easy two-hand slam for Chikuka Emili. 58 all as the Demons tried to work the extra defender and couldn't quite get that one to work. 9.55 left to go in the ball game. Right wing Czar Perry. HBU stays 2-3. Isaiah Sweeney at the top, dribbles it off his own foot. Braxton Bonds comes away with it. He'll take it up the right side. Too strong, and a follow slam by Philip McKenzie. His first points of the ball game, and HBU leads 60 to 58. Czar Perry inside to Ishmael Lane, turn around with the right hand, good. Lane's got 19, 60 apiece, with 9.24 left to go in the ball game. Good one here between two teams. Desperate for a win in the Southland Conference. Emili, right side, C.J. Jones gets the steal. Jones takes it all the way, misses the lay-in. Rebound pulled down by Jalen Gates, and it's a five on three the other way. Into the corner, wide open three from McKenzie, good. Five for McKenzie makes it 63-60. That is the largest lead Houston Baptist has enjoyed in this ball game. Matuire, right wing, Isaiah Sweeney. Out long to Zar Perry. Perry works right wing, 17 to shoot, 15, gives it now. Ishmael Lane, skip pass, left wing, left corner, Sweeney. Sweeney will drive into the lane, float it with the right hand, no good. Rebound, Ishmael Lane, he's fouled on the way back up. Foul called on Chikuka Emili, his third. Ishmael Lane will shoot two free throws after, our, after this under 12 media timeout that comes with 8.35 left to go. Northwestern State down by three, 63-60. We'll take a break, come back with more after this. You're listening to the Demon Sports Network. We fan giveaways, food trucks, fireworks, and a special guest to throw out the first pitch. We will see you all at Brown Stroud Field at 6.30 this Friday. Also, out of your seat, on your feet, make some noise. It's time for the FCA T-shirt toss.
10 rebounds for Lane, who is about to go to the free throw line to shoot two. The Demons are 0 for 6 from the charity stripe right now. They're shooting 53% from the field, 54% from three, 0 for 6 from the line. And Ishmael Lane will shoot a pair. We'll see if he can maybe change the fortunes of the Demons, and he does. Lane's got 20 to go along with 10 boards. His eighth double-double of the year. Ishmael Lane having a heck of a junior season. The stalwart inside for the Demons. Second free throw, also good for Lane. 21 for him. Lane, by the way, 81% from the line in his last five games. Demons pressuring full court here. Philip McKenzie will get it across to Oliver Lynch Daniels. Lynch Daniels will run the point, gives it to David Carraher, right wing, guarded by Isaiah Sweeney. Up top to McKenzie. McKenzie looking, now flips it left elbow, Emili, hand off to Carraher, left baseline, step back jumper is no good, rebound, a lot of contact, no call, offensive rebound, put back is up, no good from three from Jalen Gates, rebound comes down to Isaiah Sweeney, Sweeney will push up the right hand side, he'll back it out, out long to Zar Perry, clock under eight minutes remaining, Demons down by a point with a basketball, Isaiah Sweeney, Caleb Starks, right wing, back to Sweeney, Sweeney, Works to the top. He'll take a three from there. Misses it the left side. Rebound pulled down by Carraher. He'll spin away from two defenders. Bring it up the left-hand side. Guarded by Darian Dixon. Carraher drives from there. Goes up. Strip. Ball is loose. It's picked up by Ishmael Lane, who's out of bounds. And so HBU will have the basketball when we return. 7.35 left to go in the ballgame. Northwestern State down a point on defense when we return. You are listening to the Demon Sports Network. Media timeout. When it's time to see the Demons, be sure to stay with friends at Hampton Inn on University Parkway near Interstate 49. Enjoy a clean and fresh Hampton bed and free Wi-Fi. And wake up each morning to their free hot breakfast. Hampton Inn and NSU Basketball, a dream team. by State Farm agents Buddy Wood, Jim Pledger, Glenn Talbert, Mike Murphy, and Linda Luck. Well, the Demons turned it over seven times in the whole first half. They have turned it over seven times in the first 12 and a half minutes of the second half. That has led to six points off turnovers in the second half for HBU. They've outscored the Demons by five. That's basically the difference in this game. HBU will inbound from the left baseline with a fresh 30-second clock. Carraher will inbound it. Just lobs it out long into the hands of Philip McKenzie. And then a steal from Caleb Starks, but it's tapped into the backcourt. Braxton Bonds comes away with it. Oliver Lynch Daniels drives the left side, flips it across. Shot is blocked and out of bounds. Malik McTwire with the strong block. Demons will guard the inbound from the left baseline again for David Carraher. Carraher looking, throws it out to Lynch Daniels on the left wing. He'll pull it all the way back out. Work with the right hand, guys behind the back, crosses over, works down the right side of the lane, skips it into the left corner. Isaiah Sweeney, good defense. Carraher, left wing against Ishmael Lane. Carraher spins, double team comes, flips it out to Lynch Daniels with three. Wild three on the way, and it's good for Oliver Lynch Daniels. A four-point lead for HBU, 66-62. That's their largest lead of the ball game with 6.55 remaining. Ishmael Lane, right wing, Caleb Starks. Starks back up top to Sweeney. Jab step, works with the left hand. Back to Zar Perry, left wing. He'll drive left baseline. Loses it on the way in. Gives it to Ishmael Lane. Back to Perry, eight to shoot. Back up to Lane, seven to shoot. Right wing, Sweeney. Sweeney penetrates. Back to Lane on the tip with three to shoot. He'll take the three. Front iron, no good. Long rebound in the corner, pulled down by Philip McKenzie. Gives to David Carraher. HBU with its biggest lead of the ball game, 66-62. 
with 6.20 left to go. Oliver Lynch Daniels, who just hit that wild three against the shot clock buzzer, hands off to Braxton Bonds. Now gives off Philip McKenzie. He'll hand off to Lynch Daniels again with the left hand, crosses over to the right elbow, loses it, picked up by Isaiah Sweeney. Sweeney flips it ahead, Caleb Starks. Starks takes it all the way, he's fouled. And if that's Carraher, that's his fourth, and it is. Carraher picks up his fourth personal with 6.04 left to go. He's got 22 in this game. No one else has more than 12. That's Jalen Gates who had 12 at halftime. And now Caleb Starks goes to the free throw line to shoot two. He hasn't been to the line much this year and he misses the first one. Starks only has nine free throw attempts coming into this one and in conference play just five. He was three of five from the free throw line, but he missed that one. The Demons are two for nine from the charity strike. Ishmael Lane is two for two. The rest of the team is 0 for seven. Starks second free throw, back iron again, no good. Rebound pulled down by Philip McKenzie. Demons on defense again, trailing still by four, 66-62 with 5.55 remaining. Oliver Lynch Daniels drives the left side. Floater is off glass and good. Lynch Daniels has five, and it is a six-point lead for HBU. That's their biggest of the ball game. Demons have gone cold here in the last couple of minutes. C.J. Jones left wing. HBU staying in that 2-3 zone. They get it to Ishmael Lane, feeds it inside to Malik McTwire, who's fouled on the catch by Philip McKenzie. That is his third. That was a good look, high low. Instead of over the top, Malik McTwire had, the, had the, the superior position. Ishmael Lane will come out of the ball game momentarily. Caleb Starks will come out as well. Cameron Lazar and Larry Owens are back in. Demons down six and inbounding from the left baseline. C.J. Jones into the corner from Malik McTwire, out long to Lazar. Top of the key, Zaya Sweeney, 15 to shoot. Sweeney dribbles to the right wing, flips it to Malik McTwire at the free throw line. McTwire into the left wing, Lazar for three, back iron no good. That would have been a heck of a way for him to get his first bucket. Ball is loose on the floor, finally picked up by Lazar. That will be a jump ball, possession will stay with the Demons. Great hustle by Cameron Lazar, finding the fumble and recovering it for the Demons. It's a football reference, and for those that didn't know, Cameron Lazar was the leading receiver for the Demons this year. Demons still down six here. It's their largest deficit of the ball game. 68-62 with 5-12 left to go. They lob it out long to Lazar, top of the key, Malik McTwire, left wing, Isaiah Sweeney. He'll take the three, front iron no good. Rebound pulled down to Oliver Lynch Daniels. Demons have gone ice cold here the last couple of minutes. Still shooting over 50, or excuse me, shooting 49% from the field now after shooting 54% in the first half. Lynch Daniels, right corner. They lob it inside. The big fella Hart spins, and he's fouled by Malik McTwire. Fallon McTwire will be his first. Well, the Demons have no answers offensively right now. Demons have not had a field goal made in almost five full minutes the last time the Demons had a field goal. And they now trail by six. They've also missed their free throws, just two for 10 from the strike. First free throw for Hart is in and out, no good. The big man, as Zar Perry will check back in, replacing Isaiah Sweeney. Mike McConathy coaching his teams. The Demons are six of 15 from three now for 40%. Nothing wrong with that at all. Just have gone cold here the last several minutes. Both free throws are missed. Owens collects the rebound. He'll feed to Zar Perry. Perry flips it over. C.J. Jones out long. Jones will run the point against this 2-3 zone. Perry right wing long. Fires it back up top to Lazar. Left wing to Jones. Back skip past Perry. He'll penetrate from there. Flip it right wing to Lazar. Lazar back out to Malik McTwire. Eight to shoot. Jones left corner. Perry. He'll penetrate, throws it back out, and it's going to step out of bounds. Zar Perry stepped out of bounds on the baseline. Mike McConaughey saying he was pushed out of bounds. That's why he stepped out of there, and Mike McConaughey stumbles down. As uh, he looks like he might have, uh, Mike McConaughey's had to deal with issues with his blood pressure from time to time, kind of like Mike Krzyzewski has the same thing, where when if he, if he goes from a squat to a standing position a little too fast, he loses some some blood to his head, so to speak, and, he, and 
kind of partially passes out. That's kind of what happened to Mike McConaughey. He's done that several times. And uh, Coach Mike is sitting on the bench now. He, I mean, no, no real damage from it, but he uh, is sitting on the bench right now. Jeff Moore taking over as sort of the lead dog right now. Demons are pressuring full court. Braxton Bonds working against Cameron Lazar. Gets it into the front court, past him, feeds it right side. Drive from there, layup up, no good. Offensive rebound, shot blocked from behind by Lazar. Cameron Lazar blocked the 6-11 Edward Hart shot from behind. Ishmael Lane will check in. He will replace Larry Owens with 4.08 remaining. The Demons are down six, but they have struggled offensively here in the last couple of minutes. Inbound from the left baseline, they lob it out to Hart, the big fella. He'll feed it out top, Will Gates. Gates feeds it left elbow to Hart. Hart back to Gates. 20 to shoot, clock under four minutes remaining. Demons are down six. Braxton Bonds, double team, feeds it inside to Hart. Hart spins, puts it up wildly, no good. Tip up, gets his own rebound, puts it back good, and he's fouled. Foul called on Ishmael Lane is his second. Edward Hart now has seven. And the Demons trail by eight with a free throw to come with 3.47 left to go. And the Demons are in real danger of dropping their 17th consecutive game. Take a break. Come back with more after this. You're listening to the Demons Sports Network. They serve with CP10. is brought to you by State Farm agents Tommy Chester, Trey Murray, Nikki Walker, and Julie Henderson. So Edward Hart, the big man for Houston Baptist, is going to go to the line to try to complete a three-point play. He's one for six from the line tonight, but uh, the Demons suddenly have given up nine offensive rebounds in the second half. Hart makes the free throw. He's got eight points, and the Demons find themselves down nine. They led this game by as much as 17 in the first half. The Demons have not had a shot made, a field goal made, in almost six full minutes. And the Demons almost turn it over, and they do, and that's going to be a foul on Brandon Hutton, and it will be free throws the other way. As Hutton tried to throw it inside the lane, it got tipped, turned over. Hutton tried to get the loose ball. He was on the ground as... HBU's Chikuka immediately grabbed it, spun away, and fell down. And HBU, after the Demons had led by as much as 17 in the first half at 26 to 9, the Demons in real danger of seeing that all fall by the wayside as the front, front of the one and one is no good. Lane clears the rebound for the Demons, his 11th board of the ball game. Demons need a lot of offensive production in the last 325, especially since they haven't had a field goal in six full minutes now. Sweeney right wing to Jones. Back out long to Zar Perry. Back to Jones right wing. Jones back to Perry at the top. He'll penetrate from there, and that's going to be a charge on Zar Perry. Zar Perry will pick up his second. He tried to uh, drive the left side, and Edward Hart drew the charge as David Carraher, who got a long break with four fouls, Checks back in, and the Demons trail by nine. It is an 8-0 run right now after the Demons, two free throws from Ishmael Lane had cut the lead to one with 7.35 left. The last 
four and a half minutes, it has been all, all Huskies. Braxton Bonds off a loose ball, comes away with it and brings it into the front court. Out long, left wing, Will Gates. Holds there with 18 to shoot. Top of the key for the big man. Edward Hart slips it down on the right baseline. Gates again, he'll dribble all the way back out with it with nine to shoot. High screen and roll for Gates. Flips it back right wing. Carraher fires a three, back iron no good. Rebound to Malik Matwire. Matwire flips it ahead, C.J. Jones. Demons need to be really good offensively, really fast. It has been now seven full minutes since the Demons have had a field goal. C.J. Jones, out long Isaiah Sweeney, left wing Zar Perry. Perry to the corner, steps back, skips it right wing to Sweeney. Sweeney will drive to the right baseline, back to Perry, short corner right side. Five to shoot, Perry stops, takes the long two, good. Zar Perry has 10, and Mike McConathy calls the quick timeout. With 2.14 left to go, that'll be a full break as that is the first timeout called in the second half. It took us nearly 18 minutes to get there. 2.14 left to go, Demons down seven, need to be good defensively. You're listening to the Demons Sports Network. Or visit MSUDemons.com to get your tickets today. get their home schedule started. Baseball, their first game of the year, Friday at 6.30 against Binghamton, then Saturday and Sunday. Meanwhile, they've moved the softball tournament up due to the fact that there is uh, inclement weather expected on Saturday. So the tournament that was supposed to start on Friday now will start on Thursday. Dem Lady Demons will play at 6.30 and 9 o'clock against Memphis and Stephen F. Austin on Thursday night. So uh, if you want to catch Lady Demon softball, it's the best place to do it. Ball worked inside, layup up and good for Edward Hart. He's got 10, 73, 64. Demons with a minute 48 left. Lobbed to Isaiah Sweeney, left wing. Back up top to Jones, right wing to Zar Perry. Perry just got into double digits with 10. Jones, left wing Sweeney, three on the way. Back iron, backboard, and in for Isaiah Sweeney. He's now in double digits with 11. 73-67, a minute 27 remaining, but the Demons have to get stops defensively. Braxton Bonds into the front court, looking for the high screen and roll with Phillip McKenzie. Bonds works around, sort of pushes off C.J. Jones. Doesn't get the call, though, does Jones. 11 to shoot, Bonds against McTwire. Works at the right hand, works down the right side of the lane. Pull up from 12 is good for Braxton Bonds. He's got 11 every time the Demons have gotten close. HBU has answered, 75-67. Perry to Jones, left wing to Sweeney. Deep three from the left wing, good! Mike McConaughey takes another timeout. Sweeney's got 14, he's definitely refound his stroke from three. And the Demons. Down by five with 30 seconds left. We're going to keep it here. Kind of want to go over the schedule for you coming up. I mentioned baseball opens their season against Binghamton. That's uh, Friday night at 6.30. Saturday. Friday night at 6.30. Saturday. The Demons will play. They are scheduled to play at 2 o'clock. But Saturday is supposed to be when the weather is really bad here in Natchitoches, so uh, that could could change. Obviously, you want to follow NSUDemons.com or here on Twitter, follow at NSUDemons to get all of your scoring updates or, or all of your uh, time updates, I should say, and scoring updates, if you like. 
Meanwhile, the softball team plays twice tomorrow night, 6.30 against Memphis and then 9 o'clock against SFA, and then the schedule resumes in earnest uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So definitely an opportunity for you to catch Lady Demon softball as NSU almost forces the turnover. Jalen Gates lost it as he got across half court but picked it back up. Demons are going to play defense here. Gates almost lose it, dribbles all the way back out long with 15 to shoot. Gates, trap, loses it. Isaiah Sweeney comes up with it. Ahead to C.J. Jones. Back to Hutton. Brandon Hutton loses it on the way in. He saves it into the corner. Czar Perry drives. Pulls up right hand. No good. Rebound pulled down by HBU. Back the other way, Oliver Lynch. Daniels is going to pull it all the way back out and dribble towards the corner. And C.J. Jones is going to fall down trying to foul him. Well, the Demons couldn't ask for better than that last possession. They got the steal. Near half court, they got Czar Perry into the lane with a little floater from about three, four feet, and it just went off the back iron, no good. Basically, that's the demon season in a nutshell. When they need an offensive play, they can't get an offensive play. Uh, that's just, I mean, Northwestern State has been snake bit offensively this year. The good news is they play winless incarnate word, winless in conference play, I should say. Oliver Lynch Daniels misses the first with 19 and a half seconds left. Demons still will be a two-possession ball game. Jacob Guest is in three-point specialist. 6'4", 190, the sophomore from Bossier City out of Airline High School, and Ron Cottrell is going to take the time out here. Well, the Demons got exactly what they wanted on that last possession. They forced a turnover. They worked the ball to Zar Perry. Perry got it inside from the baseline, had a little flip up from, the right, uh, from right in front of the goal and couldn't get it to fall. And that's basically the microcosm of the demon season. In the end, when they need an offensive play, they cannot get a shot to fall. Now the good news is Oliver Lynch Daniels just missed the front end of the one or the front end of two, which means the demons are still within two possessions with 19 seconds left. But they have got to knock down shots. Demons with three guys in double digits. Lane has 21 and 11. Isaiah Sweeney has 14 points. He's four of six from beyond the arc. And uh, Czar Perry has 10 to go along with four assists. The Demons have 19 assists in this ball game. They came in averaging nine per game. That's dead last in the nation. They have 19 tonight, which I guarantee you is a conference high for the Demons. Lynch Daniels makes one of two. It's a six-point lead. He's got six points. 76-60, 76-70 rather. C.J. Jones off the screen, needs to go quickly. Can't waste any time. Deep three for Jones. Front iron, no good. Rebound pulled down by Carraher, and that's going to do it. Demons will foul him with 6.8 eight seconds remaining. Czar Perry will pick up his third, and the Demons will drop their 17th straight game. Longest losing streak in the history of Northwestern State basketball as uh, HB will pick up its second conference win in 13 attempts. And the Demons will have a shot at Incarnate Word a week from tonight when they go to UIW and take on the, as of now, conference winless Incarnate Word Cardinals. Carraher's first free throw rattles and comes out with 6.8 seconds remaining. Second free throw is good from Carraher. He'll get it to C.J. Jones ahead to Ishmael Lane. Three from the top of the key is partially blocked, and Carraher clears the rebound, and HBU gets its second win of the conference season, and the Demons drop their 16th straight. You better come on. 